guys in our previous video we have learned how to create multiple pages and also we have created few methods for example on the header page we have this click sign up as well as click login and similarly in sign in and the sign up page we have some of the functions that we are going to use in our test case so today we are going to learn how to write our first test script now we are going to create a new folder called test so here just click on the icon you can give any name i'm just going to make it very simple as test and within the test i'm going to create a new file just to keep it simple i'll just make it as sign up and dot spec dot js dot spec is not mandatory but this is the best way as suggested by the jasmine team or the jasmine documentation so here we are going to write our first test script and we already know that we have to use the jasmine as our test runner so of course as usual whatever we have learned so far described and it of course it's also going to take place here so first describe and within the describe we have to give some of the module name so here our test script if we go to this excel sheet we can see that this is our sign up scenario so i'm just going to copy the sign up and here i'm going to paste it and of course if you want you can give your project name or test uh, detail name based on your uh, test case or your project requirement i'm using the sign up and then followed by the let code and then followed by within the anonymous function of course we have to write our it blocks right now it blocks can be written based on the test cases you have actually for example in this scenario i have the sign up within the sign up i have around four test cases so tc001 23 and 4 right so i'm just going to copy this description and here i will say tc001 and then followed by the actual description so it's going to be to verify that user can sign up successfully before stately jumping into the test case actually always we have to do it manually so let us see how to do that before that let us understand what's the test case now we have to verify that user can sign up successfully so load the url and the url is let go dot in but as of now everything is in on my local host but by end of august definitely you will get it and once we load the url of course we have to click on the sign up page then enter name email password and accept the term and conditions and then click on sign up and once we sign up the expected result is sign up should be successful so before writing the code straight away let us do this for one time so here the test data we'll just use some test data so i'm just going to click on the sign up and enter name and then password and then maybe test one two three four something like that and i will accept the term and conditions and i will click on the sign up once we click on the sign up here we can see that we are able to get this toast notification and to do the verification either we can go with the toaster or maybe here we can see that now instead of sign up and sign in we are able to see this sign out that means of course the user has signed in successfully so sign up once the sign up is completed user will sign in automatically that is how the design is website in your case it might be different but as per my design once the user is going to sign up they will automatically sign in okay if we go to our header page and here we can see that we do not have anything called log out or sign out something like this right so we are going to write this very quickly so if you remember in the second video i said that we no need to write all the elements at the same time we can write it based on our requirement right so that is what exactly happening now as well so let's quickly write this okay so as of now we have written this and we can validate this if the button is present or displayed then of course we can say that our test case is passed right so we are going to do the same stuff using code let us see how to do that if i go back to my spec file of course i have to use all the methods that are written within the class and we know that in javascript we cannot use the classes directly until we export them explicitly so here we are going to use all the functions right so of course i have to make 
use of this class constructor for that i have to export the class let us quickly see how to do that so here you'll say exports export dot header equal to header so that means and this should be exports yeah and that means this header is just a variable name or an allies name i can say and this header is actual or classes similarly i am going to do for each and every classes okay now let me just close all this and here we will use so what are the classes we have exported we are going to import in the spec file so here we know that we want the header file first and then followed by the sign up let's import the header first so i'm just going to give new header i'm just going to call the constructor and that will automatically do the import stuff for me now here i can say const header just giving a name to it and similarly we are going to do for the sign up page as well new then followed by sign up and here we are going to assign this to a variable so const and then followed by sign up i mean we are creating just a object for this right so first of course we have to enter the name and then email and then followed by the password right before writing this actual test case the precondition here it's going to be load the url and we have to click on the sign up here we can use this before each or before all and after that we have to click on the sign up button first so here i can say header dot click sign up right so here you can see that using the object we are able to the click click sign up and if you go inside this you can see that it is actually using this variable here right now let us quickly write the another step as well so once we do the sign up i mean once we do the click on the sign up we have to enter the name email and the password so just let's write this very quickly so here next step headers not header so now we have to call the sign up dot enter name and you can see that it is going to ask you for the name as a string right so here we'll just pass this maybe my name and that's it then of course we have to click on the sign up dot enter email and that should be valid because of course we are doing the positive test case right if i go back to the test case you here also you can see that they have already i mean of course i have written so already we have the test data so i'm just going to copy this and paste over here and then for by password so sign up dot enter password and here we are going to give some password now uh, pass one two three four maybe that's it and then followed by we are going to click on the terms and condition so sign up dot click terms and conditions so this is what i have written in my function name so that is what we are getting now and after that of course we have to do the sign up dot click sign up button here right that's it and we know that of course we have to write some of the assert so we know that we already have discussed about in in jasmine video that we can use the expect to do some checks right if i go back to my header page and here we can see that we have only function to click on the sign up but i don't have any functions that is going to tell us whether the element is displayed or not right so let's quickly write for that as well of course i can use this um, sign up variables within my test script i can make it as public and i can use it but we should not do in that way rather we have to always write the functions and we have to call the functions is there any specific rule no not at all but this is the good practices defined and we are going to follow the same and we are expecting this to be true right so to be true that's it and of course we have to use the async and await so just make the await keyword here that's it so we are done now we are going to call this function in this our spec file so here i will say header dot then followed by the method right that's it 
Now to run this, of course, I need a runner file. So let's quickly create that. So I'm just going to use this plugin. So here I'll name this as protector dot conf dot js. And here, of course, we have to say exports dot config. And within that, we have specified frame of direct connect and uh, no need of using no need of mentioning any spec file because we are using the plugin and of course we have to disable the promise manager but before running of course we have to change this to await right because we are using the async and await of course i have to make explicitly each and every functions here as await so we will just use this shift alt and i will just use this await so that i no need to change for each and every line i can just change in a go now i'll go and run this so we are going to run this describe block here let's see what happens okay so here you can see that we are able to get this green dot that means of course the uh, test case is passed successfully but still we'll just add a some sysout console.log so we can make sure that our test case test script is passing and the browser is not getting closed automatically because i have disabled that so what are the value we are going to get i will just simply try to log this so here we'll just console.log await and then followed by this dot sign out dot get text so that's a link text I mean anchor tags so of course we can use the get text right now if you want to you can also verify with the um with the toaster but we just as of now i'm just using the sysout console.log to make sure that it's going to work and since the user has been registered i'm just going to clean it up very quickly so here we can see that we are able to get this score sheet dot let for dot in which we passed here right so i'm just quickly going to delete this And we'll run the script again. So now we can confirm that our test script is going to pass, right? Of course, we can add reporters and we can get the screenshot which already we have discussed. We will do that maybe in the next video. Okay, so here you have loading successful. So of course we can get this and we can do the assert. That's absolutely fine. But I hope you got the concept, right? So here we can see that we are able to get this text sign out successfully. And the loader for the loader, it's Angular component, and we no need to write the weight explicitly. But sometimes we have to write, we will talk about that in detail in the weight concepts. Okay, so let's quickly recap. So, so we have created this test folder within this, we have sign up.spec, and within this, we have written our first flow. And of course, you have to use the async and await keyword before each and every functions because internally we are using the async and await concept that is how it works right and i believe we have talked about it in detail in most of the videos so i'm not going to repeat the same here and we have just created a configuration file and using this we are able to run this now in case if you forgot like how this run test is coming or what is the plugin i am using probably i will leave a link in the description or maybe somewhere card here you can just check it out and you will get the better idea okay so that's it we are done with for this first test script in the next video we'll also see how to do the negative test cases and also we'll complete our slogging page okay so thanks for watching see you in the next one i hope you have enjoyed the video if so do let me know in the comments and also if you have any queries please do let me know so that i can do the better one thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon